Hi guys, Andy here, and in this lesson we're looking at the three open power chords that we can play. Now, a power chord is generally used in rock and blues music, and it sounds kind of lower and heavier than other standard chords we can play, like major and minor chords. And um, I just want to kind of show you guys the easiest way to play them, and also a couple of cool things we can do with them, but also what they are. So at the moment, we've learnt the E major chord, which if you've been following me online beginners course, this will be the first chord that I taught you, E major. And it's the major chords are kind of happy chords, okay? So all the major chords sound kind of happy, but also kind of standard. You know, E, A, D, they all sound just kind of normal and standard. Minor chords, if you've covered those yet, sound definitely sad. And we'll be covering those at a later stage in my beginners course. But these power chords, these are much easier to play, but also they sound a bit heavier, a little bit darker. So this is the E power chord. Sounds kind of low and heavy, and it sounds fantastic on electric guitar, certainly with a little bit of fuzz, and I'll be demoing that in a second. So we have your E major chord, which is this. And the E power chord is basically the thicker two strings of this E major chord, or in fact, any of your open major chords, E, A, and D. So we could just keep the whole chord down and just play the thicker two strings, and straight away it sounds a little bit, a little bit heavier, right? And you can see where we get rock music or a kind of blues riff from. But because we're only playing the thicker two strings, there's no reason to have these other fingers down. We can just have your middle one down. But if we're having your middle one down, that would render this first one useless and your first finger stronger. So what we're going to do is put your first finger here at second fret of the fifth string. And then we just play the thicker two strings in one small movement with your strumming hand. We'll have a close up on these chords in a second. But we're just going to rest your hand here and rather than kind of strum big from your elbow, you want to rest the, say if you're wearing a watch, which you shouldn't do if you're playing guitar really, or a, or a sweatband around here, sweatband's alright. We can uh, place that actually against your guitar and just kind of move your wrist. And this should enable you to just play those thicker couple of strings and play our E power chord, which is quite easy and we can do it with that the eighth strumming that we've learnt earlier at this level, which is what we're going to be doing to kind of play some rock and roll, really. An example of one of those rock riffs. Is this kind of blues rock and roll riff. Um, and we can only play that because we've freed up the other fingers to do something. We can't do those sorts of riffs if all the fingers are taken up with the chord. So this is quite easy to do, but it leads up along to a lot more higher level guitar. The next one is the A power chord where we just drop this down um, one string and then we play that down um, strums just on the thicker two strings of that chord. Um, so we've got our first finger at just at this one on its own, string four second fret and we just play string five and four. Remember the bigger the number the thicker the string so that we have to, we can miss this sixth string quite easy. Again, rest the palm of your hand here. And that's a much easier way of doing it. And they might not suit, you know, they are called power chords after all. They might not sound too powerful at the moment, but as I say in a second, I'm going to demo this on an electric guitar with some fuzz on it, some overdrive. And it's going to sound really cool. Next one, or the last one, that we're covering in this video is a D power chord, and it's just gone down one string again. So my first finger is still at second fret, but it's on string three. Just there, just that one on its own. Uh, remember, be it this side of the fret, not this one, so the side closest to you, and not on the fret itself, just kind of inside it is the best place to be. And there we have this D power chord sound. And this is how you play such riffs as kind of Summer of 69. Uh, 
Um, I'm doing a little palm muting technique there. If you search Andy guitar palm muting, you'll find out about that technique. If, if you fancy having a look at doing more of this, here we're just look, kind of looking at the chords themselves. Um, and we can, if we compare this chord, this D power chord, all these power chords are also known as five chords. So E5, A5, and D5. Compare this to a full D major. And it's the same thing, but without all the brightness, without those thinner strings that are adding more content, which makes something sound happy or sad. They're still all D chords. Here's a D, but it's major. Here's D, but it's minor. D5, it's just those two strings on its own. And as I say, with a little bit of fuzz, all these sound really rocking. So E5, A5, and D5. And in a later lesson, lesson, a later lesson in this beginner's course, put my teeth back in. Uh, yeah, in a later lesson in this beginner's course, we're going to be covering how to play a 12 bar blues, which leads on to a lot of rock riffs. And these are the chords that you want to be using for those type of heavier rock song type sounds. E, A, and D. And let's have a demonstration of those with my electric guitar. Hi guys, um, so here we are with my electric guitar playing some classic rock power chords. Now certainly if we just compare it briefly to the major chords we were playing earlier, let me just play the thicker two strings and play them quite hard with this technique that we talked about earlier. They are transformed into sounding kind of much heavier. And if you kind of like the ACDC classic rock sound then you're going to be very happy that we're kind of covering this sort of thing. Um, so you want to get used to doing a bar or two of each, definitely with this eight strumming first at this stage of the beginner's course. Remember, we're just kind of looking at this from a beginner's point of view at the moment and we're doing a, a harder kind of classic rock proper lesson. Um, I'll upload in that one a little later on. Do a search for that and a guitar kind of classic rock power chords if you want to search for that video. So we'll go for two bars of E with eight strumming two bars of A with eight strumming, two bars of D and then back to A again. Just a quick demonstration to the A chords, the A5 and a D and an A and then we're just going to loop that. My count is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. This is D and an A. So just as a recap, there's E, A and D, but it really, really matters which strings you hit. So just six and five for the E, five and four for an A, and then the next one down, just the middle two, four and three. Let's play it together in, from the E chord, two bars of each, in, one, two, three, and four, and. One, two, three, then an A. One, two, three, then a D. One, two, three, then an A. One more time, two, back to E. E, two, three, four. One, two, three, and A. One, two, three, then a D. One, two, three, then an A. Ending on one strum of E. And the kind of, so occasionally kind of the harder you hit it sounds better up to a point. Don't kind of go too nuts otherwise the pitch is going to go up a bit. If you can do that, you've accomplished what you need to know about power chords at this level. If you couldn't, don't worry about it, but just play on the beat. So we'll do the same thing now but nice and slow and on the beat as well, okay? So E, two, three, four, one, two, then an A for an example. And we're still gonna go to D as well. So in, one, two, on the beat. E, two, three, four, one, two, then an A, 
eight, two, still just five and four. Be really careful with that picking hand. D chord, two, three, four, one, two, three, and A, two, three, four, one, two, three, one more time. One more round of E. E, two, three, four, and A. A, two, three, and a D. One, two, three, back to an A5. Finishing on E, two, three, four, and then that E pop. Um, yeah, I guess I should tell you that. You can make your E chord and, and the A chord a little bit sound um, a lot more powerful, but it's still a power chord. Um, by flattening off your first finger a little bit, but lifting it slightly, just kicking it out, so that the thinner two strings ring out, but not string three. So, string one rings out, string two rings out, string three, no, 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 but string four does and string five does, with a flat first finger there, and that would sound like, one string at a time, down boy. Six, five, four, no, off for three, two yes, and one yes. And that on its own sounds like a heavier power chord than this one. It sounds kind of bigger and brighter, but it's still not. It's very different to the happy, normal E major. Okay? That's it for this lesson. Uh, do check out the rest of the free beginners course at andyguitar.co.uk and in the rest of this playlist. And I'm doing another vis um, video straight away on how to use these power chords. In a bit more of a rocky fashion. So again, quick search for Andy Guitar Rock Power Chords and you'll find that one. And I will see you in another lesson. Bye for now.